Do you like white GPUs? Have you noticed that they're more expensive? Let's see if we can make our own. Winter is here, and just look at that snow. Isn't it beautiful? It's a winter wonderland out there, where everything is covered in that graceful, crisp, clean, and white, fluffy stuff. And look, I'm drinking some oat milk. No dark black diet Pepsi for me today. Just this refreshing white beverage in a clean white cup. Yes, there's something so immaculate about things that are pure, unspoiled white. It's like a blank slate. It evokes a feeling of stylish dignity that is beautiful in its simplicity. The same goes for PCs. L look at these white PCs. They look like a pristine future technology from a sophisticated robot society or something. And I built one too. It's like it belongs with the season. It's a white winter wonderland out there, and the PC should feel like it's taking part. Take a look at that white NZXT case. The white AliExpress special motherboard. White RAM, white cooler, even the white sleeved power cables. My fans glow white, and my GPU. Wait a sec. This isn't white. This isn't white at all. It's black. Stupid boring black. Just like every other piece of garbage video card out there. I want a white graphics card so I can have one of those awesome white PCs that I love and for it to match the snowy winter season. What the heck does a black GPU matter? And I can't buy a white graphics card. Not just because I can't buy any graphics card, but because white cards cost more money for no good reason. It's not like white plastic is twice the price of black plastic or whatever. <laughs> what a world. Oh, well, what could we do about this? Well, we could shell out some big bucks to scalpers for a GPU and play the white plastic tax to get something that matches the clean white aesthetic of our PC. Or we could take matters into our own hands and get crafty. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna paint a graphics card white. Is it gonna work? Well, I don't know. But we're gonna find out together. I'll place your bets in the comments below. I'm about 50% hopeful that this will do the trick. The main issue I foresee is that the paint won't really stick to the plastic, or it'll scratch off or chip easily. I didn't buy any special paint or anything, just the cheapest white spray paints on Amazon. But someone in the review said it works on plastic, so if this doesn't work, then we can blame them. But let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. If you want to follow along at home, you'll need a few things. Number one is a GPU. Lots of those are out at great prices, so you should have no problem finding one of those. Number two, a screwdriver to take apart your GPU. Number three, a can of white spray paint. Number four, a piece of cardboard to use as a painting surface. Number five, a YouTube channel to teach you what to do and also provide lots of other educational and entertaining content for you to enjoy. But only if you subscribe. Hint, hint. Our test subject is an Asus GTX 1650. This guy has four gigabytes of VRAM. This is the uh, GDDR5 model. 1,515 megahertz base clock with a 1725 megahertz boost. 896 CUDA cores, and it offers great performance, especially considering that it only pulls 75 watts. Really nice card. Great bike for the buck even during the scalpocalypse. Which is why I really hope I'm not about to ruin it with this silly experiment. Yeah, whatever. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So let's take this bad boy apart. The plan is to paint the shroud, so I'm taking that off the heatsink and I'm also removing the fan. I might try to find a white replacement fan. I, I don't think it would uh, work properly if I painted it. But hey, you never know, so go nuts if you want to give that a try. I gotta live with just the GPU shroud being white. That'll look good enough in my opinion. Oh, and we gotta make sure to wash it off real good. You don't want any dust or spaghetti sauce in your GPU to mess up your paint job. Alright, now that we have it apart, let's put on our Canadian dress shoes and head outside. We'll just step out and... Oh my gosh, it's so cold out. Why am I out of the snow? I should have done this in the summer, but I, I had to wait for the snow so I could do that silly intro about the snow and the white graphics card, all that. Uh, all right, let's get this over with. Cardboard down, shroud down, spray paint, shake it up, and start spraying. 
We're gonna spray this around a nice and even, just a light dusting first, going around the outside. Uh, and then this is gonna take more than one coat, so we're gonna start light. You don't wanna glob it on. So we'll take this inside to dry, wait a few hours, and then back out into the tundra for a second coat. Wait a few more hours. Yeah, this is good. I only did two coats, but it looks like I got good coverage. We're gonna give the inside one coat and then call it quits. Now comes the hard part, waiting. We're gonna leave this card for a couple days to let that paint cure. I figure that that'll give it the best chance that it can have to really stick to the plastic and not flake off. So we'll just have to be patient and hope for the best. It's been three days and I'm feeling 73% confident that the paint is really dry and this is actually gonna work out. I mean, it feels okay to my fingers. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's try to give it a little scratch and see if it comes off. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, uh, no scratch marks at all. It feels solid, like a actual product that you'd buy at a store. It feels legit, if you can believe that. All right, let's put this guy back together and take a look. Ho, 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 look at that, you guys. I did it. I took a boring old black plastic card and turned it into a clean, elegant white, but not really white. It's just painted, but still it looks white now, graphics card. Let's get this in the system. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? There's something so refined about a clean white object. It's like a kitchen with spotless white countertops, or a dude in a handsome white suit, a white poodle, crisp white sheets on a clean bed, a porcelain tea set, or the simple elegance of a toilet. White computers are special. They feel like modern, sophisticated pieces of equipment. Efficiently engineered, precise machines. Even if you are just using it to look at useless videos on YouTube or pwn some noobs in Fortnite. Oh, speaking of playing games, let's do a little uh, FPS test. Here's the before. And here's the after. Yeah, we gained some FPS from painting it white, so totally a good idea to paint your GPU white if uh, you're going to be playing games on it. So, was it worth it? Well, you, you tell me. Here's the before, and here's the after. Does that piece of white plastic impress you? If not, then you at least have to agree that this sure beats paying for white plastic, doesn't it? I like it, though. I'm glad I did this. And it was really more of a proof of concept than anything. This card was a test subject, and now that I know that it works, I have another tool in my tool belt for building PCs. I think if I added a custom white backplate to this, it would complete the package, which I actually have an idea for, but we'll save that for another video. So get subscribed so you don't miss it. And that brings us to the end, so please let me know in the comments below. Do you love white computers? Do you have a white computer? Do you wish you had a white computer? Do you hate white computers? Do you hate me? I'd love to hear from you down there. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video. Or the thumbs down button if you like purple computers. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm TechDweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.